this package is from AliExpress. I don't know what's in it. It's been forwarded from a shipping center. This is the WBSG2, which is a signal generator from BG7TBL, which mates pretty nicely. It makes a pair with the uh, FA3 frequency counter. Both methods of construction are similar. The cases are identical. Switches on the back of both of them. Same 10 megahertz external input or output. I believe this SG2 is the same as the SG1, just the bigger display. And it's available in a number of different frequency ranges. This one, for example, goes to 8 gigahertz. Power switches in the back. I'm not sure if I like that or not. So it says 1 to 250 and 35 to 8. So we'll go into uh, the, the mode switch. Okay, this is power on default. So we have channel 1 defaults to 1 kilohertz. The next thing happens with the mode switch is it goes to channel 2. Channel 1 sweep, which I'm not sure I understand. Channel 2 sweep, which I know I don't understand. And back to 1. At 1 kilohertz, we can vary the frequency by 1 hertz. So by going down, I put that to 99. Oh, you can see what I did. The phase lock loop is no longer active, so I have a hunch this is an invalid number. Nine megahertz. I can still vary the frequency by one hertz. At 100 megahertz, you see I can't vary it by 1 hertz anymore. This zero becomes static. I can vary it by 10 hertz. And the phase lock loop is locked. If I go up to 200 megahertz, we're still locked. If 
Moving up to 300 megahertz, we're not locked. We're still locked at. We're still locked at 90, 290 megahertz. If we go much higher, we'll unlock the phase lock. So it is capable of going to one hertz. I can turn the output on and off. And that's all I can do, I think, on channel one. On channel two, Thirty megahertz, we lose the phase lock. And we can only vary the frequency by see that last zero again is static. So I certainly can't vary the frequency by ten hertz. We'll take a quick look inside. It's very much laid out like the frequency counter. I think the days of using uh, used and pulled XC XOs are done. This is a one size only board. The older boards had multi the ability to accept multiple size oscillators. Looks very much like the uh, frequency counter. Instead of a down converter board, we have an up converter board. And there's not much room to put a switch on the front panel. I think you could tuck one in right here, which would put it vertically above channel 1 about here, since this is offset a little bit. I'll put it in place and see if it uh, requires a switch or not. Again, we have the fully plated back panel, and it grabs a hold of this aluminum enclosure. So I think shielding would be fine. Again, the only thing that's not shielded is this display, and it has a grounded board here. I'm probably going to hook this up to my shop 10 megahertz standard. Let's see how that works. So I can input a 10 megahertz reference here. Right now we're on channel 2 and the reference is labeled as internal. When I connect this external reference up, this should sense it. And now the frequency is externally referenced. So let's look at the uh, seller's advertising page on AliExpress. First of all, this came from the TZT store. I bought a WB SG2 8G. Now, in most of these, the last Two characters are the highest frequency to read. Here's a 9.5G, 6.4G, the one I bought, an 8G. Now the 8G cost $170, free shipping, and that'll read to 8 gigahertz. Now I a 6.4 gigahertz is $20 more. In general, as the frequency, maximum frequency goes up, the price goes up. But these have additional features. Now, I don't know that. Uh, 
BG7 TBL has a catalog. On this seller's page, though, we list six different signal generators. They're all identical in respect to channel 1. Now the upper frequency on channel 2 is, as I said, the last two digits or three digits, three characters. But we also have the ability to vary channel 2 amplitude or in my case not. In the case of this uh, 6.4 we can get 64 different levels from uh, plus 7 down to f minus 40 on these 4.4 uh, we can get uh, 13 dB of output adjustable down to minus 40 in half dB steps. Here we get 64 steps between minus 40 and 7 and so on. So this little chart tells you or at least justifies the difference in prices. I'm not sure if this listing is complete. Um, like I say, there doesn't seem to be a BG7 TBL catalog.